Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night. <laughs> Whenever you come across this reading, I hope you all are staying safe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your like and sharing. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. To new viewers, cross watchers, please come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. So, my beautiful Aries. I need y'all to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmation in all of my readings. So spirit, guys, divine universe, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your divine protection. This is, reading is for Aries. So let's see what's going on, Aries. Honesty. Honesty just came out, Aries. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. That's right. Tell me more. Spirit guides for Aries. Empathy. It says, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Empathy. Mm, okay. Two cards came out. Envy. It says, I am the same as everybody, but have, but with different challenges. And the other card is Friendship. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. All right. And the, and the bottom of the deck is forgiveness. And it says, forgiveness and acceptance is here. Okay. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And acceptance is here. It says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Aries. So spirit guys wanted those extra cars out. So what this is telling me is that when it comes down to. You're the type of person, Aries, that you look at both sides of the situation. OK, it's like you don't just jump to one side. OK, you you look at both sides, even if you're in the midst of it, you look at, OK, what could I have done different? OK, daughter, you always your empathy. OK, you always look at both sides of the situation. Um, and so you have a very forgiving heart. OK, but you also accept the things, you know, you are learning to accept the things you cannot change. OK, um, you, you just being true and honest with yourself, even if someone else is not being real and honest with you. OK, um, it's almost like you don't you don't really when you look at both sides, you try to look at both sides. You try to be rational. You don't try to try to jump to conclusions. But at the same time, you know, if someone is not being honest with you. And so that means that, you know, you expect you don't expect people to be honest, but you being, you know, you true to yourself. You're not you know, people are not going to be honest like you're honest. You understand what I'm saying? So if that's if that means friendship. And it also can, you know, people that are envious of you. OK, envy. All right. Uh, I feel as though that people look at you and feel as though that you don't go through nothing. And it's like um, I also get the energy that you carry. You just carry what you go through very well. And so that makes people envy of you. OK, they, they, because they feel as though that, you know, um, it's just the way you carry your weight, Aries. OK, um, and, you know, you've been through a lot. You've had to forgive you. You had to do a lot of forgiveness. Um, even down to the situations that was not fair to you. OK, the both sides that was not fair to you. It says that I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So even though you look at both sides, rather, this is a relationship that you know that you did all you can do in this relationship. But this person did not put as much energy into it as you did. Uh, you still forgive and, you, you know, because you don't want to allow that to did that resentment to stay in your soul, okay, or block the flow of love, block your blessings. So um, you don't hold on to grudges long. You don't hold on to resentment long, okay. Even though someone has done you wrong, you really like transmute that and you just you know you just go on and you and you're saying to yourself I can't expect for this person to be honest but I'm gonna be true and honest with myself okay when it comes down to connections friendship all right that you just you just move on you forgive and you move on you don't let it 
you don't let it um, harbor over you. And so you have learned that things you just can't change. You can't change people. Even in relationships, you give your all and you just can't change people. And they are who they are. And you have accepted that. Okay, you have accepted that. And so people look at you as if you don't go in, go through anything, which, in fact, that is furthest from the truth. You go through a lot. You have persevered a lot. They on the outside looking in. You just carry it well. OK, um, when you're going through something, you you know, some of you, you just you know, you stay in bed. You kind of, you know, you sit and you think it through. You know, you go through a lot of things within your own self. It's just that when you come out into the world. World, you you present yourself very well so that's what make people envious of you okay so um tell me more for a spirit guys tell me more in this reading yeah so you got um you got a big offer you got an offer coming towards you okay Maybe a new friendship coming into your life. Um, you got to offer. You got to offer. Maybe someone's offering you something, but you're all in your head about it. Okay. This could be someone uh, proposition. Okay. Uh, maybe someone's offering you. Maybe this could be a promotion coming towards you. Or this is someone that wants to ask you out on a date. Aries. But you're definitely all in your head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This card just popped up on the top. I didn't even see it. This is someone recently have asked you out. Oh, this is someone that has that you have recently met maybe within the last six months. If you haven't met this person, this person, someone is going to ask you out maybe on a date. This is um, this is raised promotion or this is like someone is going to gift you something, maybe buy you flowers or somebody is going to ask you out. This is someone that you could possibly have history with as well. This person could be um, whoever this is is offering you this could be an earth sign, could be a water sign. But you're very you all in your head. You're overthinking this. Spirit guys, tell me more. Yeah, this is happiness. This is happiness. Yeah, this is someone that wants to come in and fulfill your cups, Aries. What's going on? Why are you all in your head? Or this could be the person all in their head, Aries, about offering you this. Yeah, offering a true cup. So someone wants to come in and offer. This is a friendship. So this is someone that I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this is someone that you have probably recently met. This person's in your life for a reason, okay? This person is definitely in, in your life for a reason. They have a lot to offer you. Oh, this is a wish fulfillment. You've been sitting waiting on this. You've been praying and waiting for someone like this to come into your life. Well, you're not going to see this coming with the two of swords, and some of you are going to be at a crossroad about it. Yeah, you got the you got the Knight of Cups, you got the Ten of Ten of Cups, you got Cups, Cups, Cups. A lot of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is overthinking, okay, how to present or maybe ask you out. Because these two cards, I thought this was your energy, but it looks like it may be their energy that they're all in their head about asking you out or you know, asking you out on a date. But this is this is someone that's coming in with a true cup. Okay. This is a knight. Is coming in to offer you this. You have may have recently met somebody, or you're about to recently meet some. You're about to meet someone, or this is someone you shared some type of history with. Spirit God, you're not gonna see this coming, Aries. Yeah, you've been waiting on this. Look at that. You've been waiting on this, honey. You've been waiting for this type of man or this type of woman to come into your life. Well, honey, they're here. They're here. Okay, so. Someone has showed up in your life for a reason. And this could be a friendship. This can be someone that y'all may be just friends right now. You may have just. Oh, excuse me. You may have just met this person. Y'all could be friends, you know, just getting to know each other, acquaintance. But this person is, is in your life for a reason. They're coming in. This person is coming in with the Ten of Cups. And they're all in their head. It's like. 
also this can be someone that you look at look 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 at as a friend and he or she is all in their head because they really like you a lot and they really want to ask you out they want to be more than friends with you and i don't think you see this coming because you look at this person as a friend okay y'all really get along together very well but you you in this was make this is what's making this person be in their head because they're ready to ask you out they see more they see being with you more than just friends and this person is in your life for a reason oh yeah the tower is here suddenly yeah this person's going to this person's going to ask you out out of nowhere I feel like it's going to shock you. You're not going to see it coming. But this is what you've been waiting for, this type of person. I feel like this friendship, um, you understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I, I, I feel as though that this friendship is like, it may have crossed your mind, but you haven't really thought nothing about it. It's just, you know, but this person really has been all in his head, all in her head about, um, you know, presenting this cup to you. And... Um, this person, this friendship, this guy, this, 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 this masculine energy or this feminine energy, y'all have a lot in common. I see y'all laughing. I see that spirit guys just showed me laughing. Y'all laugh. You talk. Uh, you can talk about anything. This person is in your life for a reason. Okay. And, um, I, I feel as though that. You have been sitting and you've been waiting for some years for somebody like this that gets you, that understands you, that you can laugh, you can talk. I, I get that this person can cook. Y'all sit and you eat and you and this person can cook and you just enjoy each other's friendship. But you don't realize that this person is, yeah, they're all in their head. They want more from you. They want, they, they have more to offer you. Are you really looking at this person as just a friend? You're not seeing past that? Or have it came into your mind a little bit that this person could potentially, you know, be somebody for you? Whatever it is, this person is definitely in his head or her head, okay? And you have cups here, happiness here. It's showing the telltale signs, a recent person you have met. Um, yeah. This person is in your life for a reason. This is this person is meant to be in your life. This person could be younger than you or you younger than them. Or they could have like a childlike energy. You remember what I said? Yeah, y'all are destined. Yeah, this person's heart has been broken just like yours. But you remember I was telling you that y'all laugh a lot. This person could have a, like a you for a young energy. Uh, uh, okay, a playful energy, a childlike energy is what I'm trying to say. To you, Aries. Yeah, their heart has been broken. Yeah. Both of y'all's heart has been broken. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aries reading. Yeah. This person... I feel like it fell on the friendship card, Aries. So that tells me that this person relieves a lot of your stress. It's like you have no anxiety. It's like when this person comes around, it's like you just feel just you just feel at peace. You feel safe. You don't feel tensed up. You don't feel, you know, um, or anything like that. This person makes you feel just feel feel safe and feel good and feel, you know, you like I said, y'all, y'all talk, you laugh. You have a lot of things in common. Tell me more spirit guys. This person does not bring any anxiety towards you. This person is definitely reciprocal. I feel like it's balanced with the Six of Pentacles. This person brings balance in your life. It's like whew, he, he or she knows how to keep your anxiety down. Okay. It also keeps you from overthinking. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's because that's because y'all are destined to be together. That's because this person is meant to be in your life. This person is in your life for a reason. 
Okay, that's what this card is saying. This friendship was supposed to happen. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, very passion connection, intimacy, a lot of passion. Okay, a lot of passion and intimacy. Mm. A lot of healing, star card, wish fulfillment, pouring into each other. Yeah, you're finally about to see the light at the end of this tunnel. Star card. This person has done a lot of healing. You have done a lot of healing. You have done a lot of forgiving people. You, once you forgave people and you wasn't holding on to resentment and you didn't hold on to resentment, this friend was brought into your life for a reason. Things are going to progress. You're going to see this person's going to ask you out. Even though y'all have had... Um, yeah, you see that? This person going to ask you how. He or she thinks about you a lot. They can't even do their work. They can't even plant the seeds, do their work. They, they dream about you. But they're getting ready to get the nerve up, and they're getting ready to ask you out. And see what Spirit said. I know you have been disappointed. You have been let down, lied to. But this person's coming in is a true cup, Aries. This is a true cup coming towards you. It's been a long time, okay? It's been a long time for you. But your, all your wishes is about to come true. You feel it. You feel it. You feel that this person that you have met, or if you haven't met him or her yet, you're about to. They're going, this person keeps your anxiety down. <laughs> you don't have to second guess anything, okay? This person knows that you have a lot of options. Because you're very beautiful, very handsome. And they watch you. He watches you. You think he don't or she don't, but they watch you. Your friend watch you. They see how beautiful you are and they know that you don't have time for BS. Okay? She sees how handsome you are. Okay? But this person, definitely someone you see as a friend, this person was brought in your life to love you. This person is brought into your life to, to help you to, mm -hmm, yeah, to show to show true feelings for you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces very strong in here. Very strong in here. Yep, Cancer Scorpio Pisces very strong in here. Yep. This person, um, it fell on a Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It took them a long time to get a, to get out of that ego state of mind. Okay, but um, yeah, you feel good when you're around this person. You manifested this person, sweetheart, sir. <laughs> you manifested this person. Let me get this card. Okay, Aries, that card doesn't. Okay. So, um, yeah, you manifest this person in your life. <laughs> so this is a friendship that uh, this is a friendship that you have you're about to come in contact with. And spirit guides want you to get, you know, stop looking at what you what didn't go right, because you're going to have options. You may have two options, but one of them is going to going to be a friend. OK, this person going to come in. And this person is make it has you know makes you feel very comfortable. You're not stressed around this person. It's like you know it's very good energy. But I don't think you're paying this person no attention. But this is the one that is all in his head about um, he or she, all in their head about asking you out. They have a lot to offer you, a lot of love, a lot of stability, a lot of emotions, a true cup, real cup. And in the past, I'm sure you went through a lot of deceiving and lies and things that did not pan out. But this person wants the Ten of Cups with you. But they're all in the head. They're nervous. I feel like they're nervous. They're overthinking. They're nervous um, because they don't know by y'all being friends if this is going to mess up the friendship or if you're going to feel the same way he or she feels. Okay. So it's someone that's in your life right now or is about to show up in your life. Um, Aries that um, is in your life for a reason 
You have the death card ending, soul searching, okay? You've done a lot of soul searching. This person has done a lot of soul searching. This person is, you know, this person is very obsessed with you. This could be, this could be a, ooh, this could be a, a person you show, that you have history with, or this can be a new friendship person that you're starting to talk to, and, um, and um, you're going to have to probably make a choice between two from someone from the past that they say they have changed, or this could be someone new that you see as a friendship, but it's like you like the vibe that you're feeling between this person, you and this person, and you have all your wishes is here. You're just going to have to be honest and true to yourself what it is that you want, and you're going to have to use that inner, ver inner voice, you know, that, that intuition, um, and I feel like you're not going to see this coming, but I also feel like this is definitely what you've been waiting for, a true cup, and I feel like you about know that this person, you know, you about, you probably feel the same way that this person feels, feels towards you, and some of you, you may be blindsided by it. You may not see it coming, but there is someone that's in your life that just came into your life, uh, that a friend that's in your life for a reason, uh, that this person has been the one all alone. I don't know. I don't know your life. So if you have somebody in your life and you've been looking at them as just friendship, but this person just relieves your anxiety, your stress, and y'all laugh and you talk and you do things together, or this person haven't showed up yet, but they're about to show up. Uh, yeah, that part right there, uh, it's gonna, however it goes, it's going to shock you. Um, but this person was sent to you, sent to you for a reason. Are you ready for it? Or are you not? I am Positive Thoughts and Energy Aries. Until next time.